When she kisses him, he remembers. It's as if his past lives come flooding back to him, much like when we remember who we are by knowing all is love. Today I'd like to continue discussing a little bit on Under the Silver Lake. If you have not seen that decode, whether you don't watch TV or don't watch movies or are not familiar with that movie, uh, I particularly encourage you to go watch that video because it is very significant. Now I want to continue on talking about it because after watching that film, series of synchronicities occurred that are very unusual and I think that this is worthy of note because it is kind of explaining or illustrating what's happening with the the mirror so to speak. It was on January 8th that this movie was first mentioned in the discord group. We were talking about Lionsgate And then someone shared a clip from this film. And we all watched this on January 8th, which January 8th, 2023 is 8-8, the Lion's Gate. Now, also related, but a little while later, someone shared a comment about a television show, Black Mirror, the episode called Bandersnatch. So I watched that as well, and it's relevant here because this illustrates the construct that we are in in a very detailed way that I don't think any other show has illustrated. So while I'm on the topic of Bandersnatch, I'll just explain a little bit about what that episode is about. It's an interactive choose-your-own-adventure style show and it's about a young man who is designing a video game based on this choose your own adventure novel by the same name. As he is making this video game, he comes to realize that he himself is inside a television show that's being controlled by the viewer. He says he doesn't make his own decisions, that someone else is doing it for him, and it is the viewer. The viewer, you, literally, because you are making decisions for him through this interactive TV episode. You make tiny, seemingly insignificant decisions for him, which lead to him having a different path in his life. And he realizes that someone else is deciding these things for him and he struggles to resist them. It is then revealed that the producer of the episode that you are watching is working on the show that the young man is in. So it becomes very meta. It's a show within a show, a doll within a doll. When you are aware of this construct that we are in, especially of the dynamic with the television and how the television talks to you, it's a little freaky to watch this. Now I found this episode very similar to Under the Silver Lake because the media, being reflected back to me is showing that the construct is aware of how I perceive the world. And this is the intelligence that I was referring to in the decode for Under the Silver Lake. This intelligence is you. It's the creator. The creation is becoming aware of the creator. You are the creation and the creator. And so the two are coming together. Having said that, I will show you some examples that have happened since I watched Under the Silver Lake. Riley Keough was the lead actress in the film who played Sarah, the girl in the tomb. Her mother was Lisa Marie Presley, and she died. She died of a heart attack. Riley represents the heart connecting to mind. After Lisa Marie Presley's death, the very next day, the son of Evil Knievel died. The man who disappeared with Sarah in Under the Silver Lake was Jefferson Sevens, and he was likened to Evil Knievel, the daredevil from the 80s. January 26th, which is another 88, there was an announcement of the disappearance of the leader of Scientology. It's very similar to the announcement of the disappearance of Jefferson Sevens in the film. Now, earlier this week, there were three mass shootings in California. 
One location took place in Half Moon Bay. The other happened on the Lunar New Year. The one in the Lunar New Year involved two ballrooms. And the location of both of those ballrooms were on Garfield. One was on the corner of Garvey and Garfield, two blocks from Alhambra. The other was 10 minutes away on Garfield in Alhambra. The lead actor in Under the Silver Lake was named Andrew Garfield. Garfield played Spider-Man and in the film was shown to represent Spider-Man in the Red Era. Alhambra means Red City. On January 26th, this article appeared in my feed about Tobey Maguire wanting to reprise his role as Spider-Man. It seems perhaps to the casual observer that this is just mere coincidence. It's not coincidence. There are no coincidences. Everything is connected. And when things like this happen, you have to pay attention. What is it telling you? What I have realized is... The decodes that I have been doing have been sending messages. And most recently, the messages have been hyper-focused on issuing a warning or a cautionary tale to those who are not ready to ascend, to those who are not doing the work. If you're not doing the work, you're not going to ascend. Now, this has been going on for quite some time, this message. However, it has been emphasized repeatedly very recently, which to me suggests that there's a lot of people who are very close to ascending, but they aren't doing the work. And it's a warning to say you have very little time left to get your shit together. Now, I don't want this to scare anyone. It's simply just to say that if you want to ascend, you have to do the work. And time is relative, so a little time could mean years. What does it mean, and how do you know you're ready? I'll have to discuss that in another video. If you like this video, please show your support for my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, contribute. Contributions over $15 will receive a link to the Johnny Depp Dark Shadows material, so please be sure to include your email address. Kindly visit my website, subscribe to my backup channels, join the Discord group. All links are in the description box below. Thanks for listening. Hope you're having a great day. Bye for now.